nothing but giving gas, nothing but giving gas, nothing but nothing but nothing but giving but. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As you can see, got new armor. Really like it. Um, and also, I have the Almighty Excalibur. Little pain in the ass to uh to get, but I got him. Hey, right. it's pretty powerful. But right now we are going to talk to Randvi because we got some work to do. I want to see the alliance map. I want to see the alliance map. Sure, Vic. Can't do that one quite yet. Okay. Get this the one. jail bit has traveled to Shirapshah. He has, into a difficult <coughs> situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. Let's do it. I will make my way to Shirapsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. All right, just hash travel. Will certainly be needed. Okay. Let's fast travel. Fast travel there. Let's go to that. The almighty Excalibur. I'm equipping the shield because I feel like it's best with the shield. I don't necessarily need another weapon. Just this one would be do. Would be good. Besides besides um Excalibur with the shield is a freaking beast. But once I get Thor's weapon, I probably combine those two. But for now, shield. Oh, also, I did kill a lot of these guys. So, took a little bit, but I got them. Let us go. I'm currently wearing the Valkyrie armor. It's so fast if I just run on the ice. Let me do that.
this go up here. In there. We've had nothing for days. Let <coughs> That's all I could find. Be fierce, dirty, strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Guriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. To the church. Book of Dragons. Ooh, sounds cool. It's not far, just across the village. We've been uh, at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Here? Okay. Why did, we didn't even need the horses. We could have just walked. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. <clears throat> Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove, 
We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Didn't I say let me do the talking? The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to <coughs> gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Jailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the run goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some Who few does that? minutes to gather Husband, come here. Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Okay. Decide who gets the silver. Okay. They say when a standard to my broke test from Lerchester, the tanks are quite for me. On trauma, if to me. Decide who gets the silver. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvar by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. Take this. Spend it as you will until Rodri is best. You are the chosen peace. one. You have a bargain. Okay. Report back to Dear Lord. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Where is Talk, that? talk, talk. All we do is talk. Who the hell is there, Lord? This guy? King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Can I now? No, we're waking up. Do I report back to Deola? Who do I talk to? These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. Are you? You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. 
Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rotary from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Ah, enough of this nonsense! You, you good, dude? You, you good? Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles back to... What do I talk to? Is this glitch or something? I feel like this is glitched. Hold on. Let me reload the save. I'm supposed to give it to that guy? Okay. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Eivor, huh? my friend. Hmm. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? The captain of the guard will advise Rodri to sign the agreement. Peace will be yours. Let us pray Rodri takes his advice. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, no! Now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, I guess there's just no marker. Gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> the fuck? By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood! Bring it, bitch. You oh. 
That was weird. Come on, bitch. Come here, you want some too? Who the real warriors are. The hell's wrong, this guy? You have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back, and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here. Where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door. Okay, geez. Come, help me with this. Keep it going. sword man Oh. 
Jesus, Jesus, relax. What's it do? Good God, what carnage. Bishop Dale have known that the battle is done. Speak to dear love. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Gilbert killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. <clears throat> nice. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Catch a dude, catch a Skill points. Currently 147, but to be 149. Let's do that one. No. Multiple quests accepted. Okay. Let's see this one. This is closer, I think. Leave it to us. Okay. Time to swim. So messenger. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might <clears throat> know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. 
In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Dustin Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. And thank you. So sweet. South of the Hillgate, which is. He just showed me. South of the Hellgate remnants. Hellgate remnants, okay. Let me fast travel here. Okay. So, in my eyes, Zunin. South of the quarry, which means it'll be right there, right? Quarry. Yeah. Let's go to the quarry. <sighs> okay. I don't really remember what part this is. Probably like part like 11 or 12? <laughs> It'll be a long game. Long game. Which is good. So it's down there. The stone okay. quarry. Filled with Britain supply cards. Once I burn those, push right. Rodri to peace. Praying prisoners will build your forces. Gotcha. Can you help? If they see me, this will get messy. Yo. Boom. Really, you just gonna lay down? I just killed your friend. Come here. Okay. Survey the area soon. So I gotta get down there. Let me eat some of this. Shit. 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 Shit.
I just kill himself? Dude just jumped off the cliff. So kind. You're up, Shia. I need you. Free. The freaking guy just freaking killed himself. Okay, so there's more up there. Let's go this way. You better run. Where's the next spot? Oh, over there. <sighs> Shit, okay, how do I... Okay, I gotta go this way. I could climb, but... No. Please? Lord Drunk? Why would I want to do that? Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Here. 
Alright, one fifty one. Let's go this way. West outpost located inside the forest of Crawford, west of Dunmerson Lake. West of the Merson Lake. The Merson Lake. Outpost. Okay. We have our location. Slow uphill. Okay, here we go. No! Okay, here we go. Sacking when looking. Almost there. <laughs> Looks like the place. This place is heavily guarded. It's heavily guarded? <laughs> I don't care. Hey, what's up, dude? that Who am I supposed to be taking here? Stolen cargo Okay, here we go Say go chest. Just got a new helmet. Sweet. Okay. Slot of this. Oh. 
Come on, bitch. Chest up there. I gotta get up there. The water with the hey, what's up? More down there. Oh, there's one right there. There we go. And one more chest to be up there. Back. So we're going to Westbury, which is over here. Just follow this road. You know, we'll get there in no time. Oops, just ran over a bird. What the hell is that? Huh? 
some corruption in the air. A lot of enemies on this road. Almost there. I'm gonna just save it. Over here, okay. Go, oh, my eyes get over there. Pretty close. Here, right? Smell that sailboat? I uh, think so. A faint grassy odor? No. Eivor, Chilbert. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Anir is the Britons' best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Man, I'm not gonna do stealth because I've been doing pretty Let bad with stealth so far, so. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Thor thunders beside us! Down. Burn it down. Bitch. Okay. Let's burn the cottages down. Burn that one down. Wait. Burning. 
I wish there was a way to like do it faster. Okay. Just one more cottage over here, I believe. No, she. A few more. Oh, sorry. Okay, there's a cottage right there. Uh, then one more should do it, like this one right here, this little small one. The soldiers. Just give up already. Come on, bitch. Yeah. Oh god. Let me kill these ones first because they're closer. <laughs> Bitch. That was overpower. It was overkill. Kill in the air, in the air in his men. Abel, here comes Anir. He's roaring in like a winter sea. Is he one of the order members? Let's see. Smoke! Someone set that fire! But change! They're in the camp! Oh god. Come here. Bitch. Your army is weak. We will gut you like tired fire. I'll pull your tongue through the back of your throat. Hey, we got a new stair. No, that's the last of them. Let us get a good view of our hand <coughs> jailbird. Join us, Eivor. Trailbird fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Trailbird, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh, we won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. 
To survive a battle is to be born anew in blood and streams. My father died in the snake pit. Left <clears throat> nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father, Rachna, left a strong saga. Chelbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? <clears throat> I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sporting? There's no chance the fish will kill me. I don't want to go fishing. <gasps> Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Oops. Um. <laughs> Lots of hungry fish here. Come on, bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well done, Avor. An eel. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fight you bastard. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Gotcha. Another eel. Okay, one more. Almost I should do it. Alright, let's go closer. Clearing this village. <laughs> they really did, though. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. This simple fellow comes now. 
Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert. But Mum's Bert will be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Brodry will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. I had my doubts about this plan, Ivar. But I believe it may work. This blow we dealt Rodri is a painful one. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good <coughs> bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these... Wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are gladdened to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Hey! Cut it out! Okay, so... 
So he's all the way over here. Wait, he's in there. Is done. Peace, <clears throat> eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Okay. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbelt? Chail... <coughs> Bert? Did none of you see Chailbelt? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. How long before he's fit to speak, would you say? A few hours should do it. Unless you find another way to rouse him. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Ivar. It is done. Peace, eh? And now, if not happiness, then they yeah, already talked down. What are you doing? Well, let me meditate, actually. For Chailbelt. Have you seen him? If you must know, the little brat went off hunting boar some time ago. Yes, I know. But where was he hunting? He went south. That's all I know. Probably followed the stream here, south to the forest. That's enough to go on. Thank you. South. Okay, south of Westbury. So probably this way. We followed the stream south. Cast about this land, my friend. He's on the way over there. Oh damn. How did he get on the way up there? Is he fucking dead? He better not be dead. Uh 
<clears throat> okay, let's see you, old friend. Where's this guy at? Jailbat. Oh Tears shit. Jailbat, uh, uh, you live. I... I uh, stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. <laughs> Damn, is he gonna die? Oh, the bats. Save your strength. Come up here, ninja. <laughs> to die. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Avar. I need I mean, um, I'm going to take you down. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna run and not stop him. What happened? No. 
No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E Ivar. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. But oh, damn. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. The Britons did this. I found this blade in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. I wonder what would have happened if I chose the, the other guy who fortress will not he survived. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. You must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kissed. You spared that wet turd Leofrith. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. The Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Sent the boy's body to his father, who won the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. Um... Wait here, till I return. Bye. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Skill points. Okay. Door swap. That could be cool. All right. Well, I think I am going to end it here and continue it in the next video. And as always, if you like what you see. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.